Hello. 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 Look at Hello. Him. We'll get some behind the scenes. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. So we've got some visitors, and uh, we're going to be off on an adventure very soon. So keep watching and see where we're going. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So we've just arrived at Brian's, and we're just having a look around and just assessing what we need to do. So he's given us a fair few things to get working on. I'll show you the list of stuff that he's given us to do and the things that we need to sort out for him. And I'll give you a before and after shot so you can see what the garden looks like now and what it's going to look like when we're finished with it. So as we come into the garden, this is, um, this is, this is the garden at the moment. Uh, there's Dean over there. Say hello, Dean. Hello. I'm busy getting set up yourself, yeah. <laughs> I don't know the record, so it's taken me a few minutes to get figured out with what I need to do with this gimbal. It's been hilarious. Uh, <laughs> so this is the garden. We've got we've got a fair bit of overgrown grass. Um, we just fixed his lawn. We just fixed his chipper for him. Where's his chipper gone? Chipper set up over there, ready to go. So <laughs> we just fixed the chipper and the lawnmower. Um, and the thing that was wrong with them is they needed plugging in. <laughs> so look, so so look, Dean's just fixed it. Hang on, <laughs> Dean, fix it again. So Sorry, De hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's zoom in on this so we can get Dean fixing it. Do is so this is how Dean fixes the streamer. This is what we did. Hang on. We, 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 pl we plugged it Hang into on. the power socket, and then the green button for go. And there we go. And that's how Dean fixed the lawnmower. <laughs> so we tried the same with the um, the lawnmower as well. And if he turns you around, <laughs> look at that. It's just like it's just like witchcraft. He's fixing magic, things. Magic. The magical Jordy. That's what it is. He's plugging things in and getting them working. <laughs> I'll give you a show around of the other stuff that needs doing. So show us what's wrong with this um, path. So that path shouldn't be doing that. And it, it shouldn't solid. be, it should be solid, especially for someone with a wheelchair coming down here. Yeah. Well, that's all right. It does get them from A to B, especially it's here in the winter. Close them anything, but uh, I'm going to try and get that sorted out. And it's wide enough as well. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm wide. So... <laughs> <laughs> Both ways. So we've got these little troughs down the side that we're going to get planted up um, and sort this grass area down here and then sort out all those pots around the back, either weed them or clean them and, and, and get some stuff planted in for him. So Brian's had this polytunnel put in. Whoever's put this polytunnel in hasn't done a decent job enough. It's not tight. It's flapping about. In the wind, it'd be an absolute nightmare. It's, yeah, it's designed for this exact frame so it should fit on nice and flush and it should be nice and tight as well so, but it's not and you can still see, you can see on the outside it's um it's not sitting alongside the pipes so the corners aren't in the corners the the bottom section there is a little bit higher up um so that needs to be pulled down so we're going to try and sort that out as well but we're going to have to get started or we're going to be here <laughs> we're not getting nothing done yeah monty <laughs> right we'll catch you in a bit didn't have to go keep on going down to the garden and things like that because I mean, I mean, garden's not that far from mine, but it's still yeah. after work going down. But if you can just pop outside in the back garden and water a few plants here and there, yeah, much easier, yeah. much easier access. That's it. And uh, let's see by the time we get polytunnel all tight and sorted again, it'll be much better because, especially when you're recording in that polytunnel, I've noticed as well when it's a bit windy, it's a bit of a nightmare. Oh, those yeah, and stuff, isn't is it? it so, not? <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get that sorted as well. And I've got a few hints and tips, a few tips for the polytunnel as well, which has reminded us. But I'll tell you about them when we get sorted anyways. But uh, I, right, we'll best uh, stop chatting and let's get uh, some more work done or whatever I get now done. I've got to drive three hours back as well, so... <laughs> the more we'll get done now, the better. Three hours, it takes me, you have take me three and a half hours to get it done. Well, there you go. No, take two hours to Leeds, because I've had to go to Leeds first, then come down to this way, so it's about, it's about three hours, three and a half hours. Mind you, I was head to the year 19. Probably. Yeah, well, that's uh, one. Anyway. It's come a fair old way. Yeah, oh, definitely. But uh, don't mind at all. Like I say, it's going to help out greatly. But it's now ne towards the next year as well. But uh, right, let's get back on. Brian, how are we doing so far? Brilliant. Brilliant. A lot better than I expected, actually. <laughs> We'll, we'll get you into some good shape. We'll get, we're not going to leave you without without putting a good day's graft in. Well, we're all in a good shape, aren't we? It's just round, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
update on the progress so far. We're going to use the weed fucking control down anyway because it's. Um, We've got these planters put down the side. Mainly ragwood, dandelion. And we've sorted this, and we've sorted this path out, so it's not wobbling anymore. So I'm jumping on it now, and it's not wobbling. And our job now is, he's got this polytunnel, so he's got this polytunnel. But the problem is, down this side, he's got loads of space wasted. Now, what they should have done was made this polytunnel and put it right into the corner. But even at the back, he's got all this space that's just wasted. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the polytunnel back, but as far as we can. So he's so yeah, we're going to move the polytunnel back so he's not wasting that space. So it'll give him about a meter of extra space at the front here. It'll just get, it won't waste his garden as much. See, the ideal place for this polytunnel would have been right in that corner, shoved in. So now Dean, what he's doing is starting to unclip everything. I've been waiting since the first time I seen you put the cover on, how loose it was, to tighten it. <laughs> Am I going to get it done properly? It's going to be a bit of a big job this because we're going to have to move some of these footpaths, um, move them back and cut them into shape again. But we'll get there, we're going to do it. So, um, so well, Dean's going to do it, I'm just going to sort of natter around. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it done before then I get to you. Because <laughs> once my belly's filled, I slow down. <laughs> <laughs> so after we've done this, it's fish and chip time. So you can join us for fish and chips. I'll see you in a bit. So we've come into the garden. There's Dean heading back in through the path. And I'll show you I'll show you what we've been doing. So we've given the grass a bit of a cut and given that a bit of a tidy. Um, all that mud at the back you can see is where we've taken some soil and level stuff off. Back there, there was a huge pile of wood and twigs and branches and stuff. So I've chipped all that up and I've made, made him some nice wood chip and we've sorted out the compost bins and got that tidy. Um, and let me show you the big jobs. Oops. So this path that you saw, it's no longer bouncy. It's firm, it's solid, it's a nice run for you to be able to come in, for Brian to be able to come in on his, on his, on his uh, electric powered wheelchair and he can come straight in, have a look, and he can find this guy lying in his polytunnel. It's lovely and warm, isn't it? <laughs> it's not often to get sunshine up in the northeast. I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> oh. You can see your belly. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's like you're wearing a crop top. Oh, <laughs> I've got the bare top off for it, haven't I? What an excitement. Are you tired? Me? I'm absolutely shattered after moving, moving two tons of uh, compost for Leslie yesterday. And obviously coming down and helping all this, it was nearly start this morning. Some of us actually got out of bed on time. <laughs> yeah, I arrived at Monty's this morning, nine o'clock was agreed, and he was still lying in bed. Sorry, no, he wasn't. He was coming down the stairs. <laughs> He's here like that. <laughs> Barely awake. What is it? We've fixed his run into his into his uh, polytunnel now. So he can drive straight in. Um, He's got a firm, we fixed his benches, so his benches are, are solid. And the straight, he's got his grabber uh, to pick his plants <laughs> and tickle me belly. We didn't get, we, we did the big jobs for him. So we've tidied the um, polytunnel, polytunnel um, plastic because that was really sagging. The reason for that was, was because the plastic was just kept on on the outside, whereas the clips that are on the, bot uh, on the bottom now have pulled the plastic underneath and clipped it from the inside so that's brought it down and then when we've we've put four uh which i say not four foot oh yeah they're about four foot aren't they yeah four the, foot the fence uh, fence posts uh, the the fence spikes fence spikes yeah. so we've knocked them down and uh this thing it's not moving anywhere now isn't moving anywhere now it, and it's it, kept nice and tight and this is a lot tighter as well it's a lot more taut yeah which is much better it all it needs now is a good cleaning you can see where it's been sagging and all the dirt's been gathered on the roof so at least now it's a nice firm finish um, but now he's got all his plants that he can get up to work he's got his lanterns out so he's going to work tonight <laughs> everything's, <laughs> everything's yeah. to hand 
We said we'd do some planting for him, but he's saying, <laughs> he's saying he's saying leave him something to do. So we're going to leave him some stuff to do. He's going to have a good harvest this year. He is. I'm, 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 so, I? I'm very impressed with what he's got on so far. Nice. He's not going to go along with. He's not going to go wrong with compost either. He's got plenty. Of, he's not going to go wrong with compost either. He's got plenty of compost. Loads of stuff in that. In and that was fun, wasn't it? Might have manufactured the dough as well. Just one second. So his door closes. His door fits. Look at that. So his his whole the polytunnel actually works. So let's go and have a quick chat with Brian and see what he's saying and see what he thinks. <coughs> so there's the man there. Let's go and say hello to him and see what he thinks about what we've done with the greenhouse and his garden. Brian? You know exactly what I think. I told him from the start, it's a superb job. I've got access to a, a, a decent polytunnel now. Not something with a bit of, poly, bit of polythene or whatever. And I've got access to me compost and everything else instead of a stuck beside a fence beyond my reach. Well, I'm well pleased. Well pleased. Nice one. That's that's what we wanted. Just as long as just come down and give you a hand, make sure that we can make a little bit of a difference here. But I'm happy that you can get access to it and get gardening oh. again. I'm, I've told you, I wish I had me the leg. I'd have, I'd have preferred to be doing what you two were doing rather than setting me backside. It makes a hell of a difference. But you give us all inspiration, and it's a, and it's something that we're glad to give you something back as well. Because, yeah. And I can't thank you enough for that. No. Can't You're thank you enough. Very welcome. I've enjoyed it. It's been a good get together actually, because it's been nice to see everyone, see Brian. I've, this is the first time I met Brian, so it's, I've really, I've really not enjoyed meeting him. Uh, well, it's not the first time I met Dean. I've met him a couple of times before. Been a couple of times. And, uh, third, third time, lucky. <laughs> and I've enjoyed meeting him as well. <laughs> it's been great. It's been great, and the kids have had a blast as well. Yeah. Been in the woods. I've well, got it's been my only chance of a meet of anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Took the chance. Said yes. You come over. It's been nice. It, it has been nice. It would have been nice if we'd have got a, a good a bit of a bit bigger gang down. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, but we just, like, see, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. we, me, me and Monty had been planning on doing this last year before the pandemic, but obviously things got in the way. But it's nice to actually get down and actually get it done. For me, let's like, see. It's only been a three-hour drive. Getting up early, come down, still managed to get a good shift in. Three-hour drive though. That's some commitment. See, that's some dedication to his friends. I brought half a nursery as well for him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we came down with a car load of plants. I mean, Dean, Dean's uh, outdone himself again. Uh, we brought him, brought him down some nice plants. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to uh, plant them out, but it'll give, it'll give Brian something to do and keep him busy. We'll kind of do everything for him. So you're going to have some, no, fun, you're gonna have some fun planting Oh, out. I'm looking forward to planting them out. We need some, we definitely need an update when all the flowers are up and you're all sorted. That's a good excuse for me to put a video out. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Gives you... Get up and get it, go and get it done as well, doesn't it? A little yeah. Mr. Robbins just come down to have a look at some worms as well. So, um... I've not seen Robin here yet. <laughs> I don't know where this camera's <laughs> going. So I'm getting farther and farther down. See, yeah. the, pro the problem is, right, normally it's my wife that films and today she's, the, she's not here, so I'm filming. So if the camera's all over the place, that's my fault. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't film. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, we'll do this, right? De Dean's arms are better. We'll go later. Must... So you get its perception. It's the uh, mountainous where you stand as well, see? So, that's us all sorted for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll, we'll teach them anyways. <laughs> we've, we've, got, we've got a long drive back, uh, so it's about an hour and a half back home. We're, we're going to set off pretty sharpish, and we're going to leave it there. I'll get this video edited pretty soon, and we'll get it up, and you can have a look at it. So I'll leave it there for this one. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.